NFL week four was weird, y'all. We saw some big hits, some big plays, and even some bigger upsets. And we're no haters here at the New York Post and SNY. So it's that time of the week where we show love and we're going to hand out our game balls. So let's go. Geno Smith and the Seattle Seahawks, let's ride. Their defense has been atrocious, but Geno has been on fire. He entered week four leading the NFL in completion percentage and said, hold my beer, connected on 23 of 30 throws for 320 yards and two tutties. Oh, and he ran for another. The Seahawks offense hung 555 yards of total offense against the Lions. Let's ride. And the entire Atlanta Falcons team, you get a game ball. You get a game ball. You guys went 500 on the season after your win over the Browns. You were up, then tied at half, then down, and then you made some big plays to win it. Wins are hard to come by in the NFL, especially single possession wins. You had a six play, 49 yard drive that ended with the field goal to take a three point lead, and your defense closed it out in the fourth with an INT on the final drive. It was a must win and a team win. Take the ball and run with it, you dirty birds, you. And the 49ers defense, take a bow. Here's a fun stat. In Monday night's 24-9 win over the Rams, the first quarter field goal by Rams kicker Matt Gay was the first points the 49ers have allowed on their first defensive possession this season. And it's also the first points allowed by the 49ers in a first quarter this season. They were the last team in the NFL to allow a first quarter point. You throw in two forced turnovers on the night, including a pick six, and the 49ers defense is back, baby. And I wanted to do the dirty bird for the Falcons, but I wasn't on camera, so I'm gonna do it now. Congrats to our week four game ball winners. Week five kicks off Thursday night with the one, two, and one Colts versus the two and two Broncos in Denver. Salute.